What's up everyone? Scott the Trout Hammer here. Got my voice down because we're here at a park at night and there's people around here in some trailers that might be camping so I'm not going to talk very loud but we are on the South Jetty in Newport. Going to do some black rockfish fishing and some ling cod fishing. Got Christian here with us. Hi. <laughs> Drove us out here. Uh, probably going to be small swim baits. Uh, lipless crankbait stuff that's gonna be able to get down pretty deep make some noise out here in the jetty we're fishing about uh, an hour after high tide and the tide was really high we still can't get out on one of the fingers that we normally fish on but uh, got the headlamp out yeah this this headlamp this is on the low setting this thing's bright that's why I got this thing uh, I think I'll show you guys what I take out with me when I go jetty fishing real quick so what I got here, one of the things I take out with me is this over the shoulder rod holder that can hold up to five rods. And these are the rods I take with me, uh, different rods for different setups. And this rod that's also got a big center pouch that I use to uh, keep the fish that I catch to get them back up to the, back up to the rig and in the cooler. It also has a pouch on the side right here that I have my net in in case I catch something big enough that I need to drag up. Then I don't take my whole tackle box with me when I go out there. What I do is I take this, the same tackle belt that I uh, use surf fishing, and you know, inside a, inside the center pouch here, I've got a got a small tackle case with some extra lures in it, you know, some swim baits and plastics in this one. And I also just recently got this to take out with me that I attached to this on the belt side and it has a shoulder strap that can also hold a rod if I want. But in this, in this one, I've got another small tackle thing that I've also got some extra crankbaits, extra swim baits, some tubes, extra hooks in case I need, you know, have everything on me at an arm's reach and something that uh, uh, doesn't weigh me down because I don't do so well on the rocks, you know, with, uh, with my back. Definitely gained a lot of uh, core strength and core mobility over the last couple of years, but still, you know, the way the way I got to get out there, I got to have my hands free to help me climb and brace myself on the rocks. So that's why I take all my tackle around my belt, all my rods over the shoulder, allows me to use my hands when I get out there. Also, not a lot of not a lot of weight to this, which is pretty nice. Yeah, now I'm gonna get all geared up, and I'll see you guys out on the water. Okay, the tide is still really high, so can't get out onto the finger just yet, so this looks like as good a spot as any to start. I think I'm going to start with good old belly-weighted swim bait. So with almost all my rigging I brought with me, with these waters, these conditions, I've got everything tied directly onto the braid. Don't really have to worry too much about visibility right now. I've also never used this swim bait on the jetty, so it's kind of a test run. Alright, they're not liking this swim bait too much. Time to go to what I know works. Yeah, this lure here, this storm curly tail minnow, that black and white pattern, the best lure for jetty fishing I've ever used. This is old faithful right here. Yep, see, already got a bite. First cast with it. Oop, ooh, ooh, ooh. So the area I'm fishing right now is pretty deep, so I'm letting this thing sink pretty far. Like, I'm going to let this sink for, you know, 10, 12 seconds before I even start retrieving. Is that a fish? 
now. And I'm getting one to two strikes every cast, but nothing I can set the hook on. There we go. Little tiny guy. So with the curly tail, they've been liking the slow retrieve again. Alright, I think the water is low enough. Can get out to a better spot. Fish some crankbaits. Alright, I can throw some crankbaits from here. Alright, let's go with the red lipless Rapala. No. Nothing on that lipless crankbait. I'm gonna try the Livingston Lures crankbait since it's the one I was most curious about how it would work out here. Apparently the only thing I'm going to catch fish on today is that curly tail. Nope, not a bad rockfish. Not bad at all. Yeah, decent size. Maybe yeah, half a pound. Curly tail minnow. Dude, I it's the only thing I've gotten hit on. I've gone through two different crankbaits. Two different worms, two different swim baits, and this was the only thing I've been getting bit on. There we go. Whoa. Okay, this is a good size one. Watch out. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> Getting me all wet. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. I'll try to pull that up later if you find a crab pot. Hey guys, this one really isn't keeper size, but that's the. Is that the biggest fish we've caught so far? About the same size as the one you caught over there? Yeah. yeah Alright. Yeah, about a pound. Gnarly, gnarly fish. Yeah, the same spot, like 20 casts with crankbaits. Not even a look. Go to the curly tail, almost every cast. Landing a fish. Christian's got one. Crashing around, that's what it is. <laughs> oh, you okay? Oh, that's why Jetty fishing is dangerous and you always do it in pairs. Yep. <laughs> Damn, that hurt. Nothing's broken, is it? No. Okay. Yep, good safety tip for you guys. When you go jetty fishing out on these fingers, go in pairs. Because <laughs> if you fall, you're definitely going to need someone to help you back. In general, it's a good idea to wear sturdy clothing. You know, I'm wearing, I'm wearing blue jeans out here. And also wearing 
long sleeves and gloves for climbing around these rocks because I would rather not have a mechanical injury out here. You and me going fishing in the dark. Bump, bump. Yep, there we go. <laughs> yep. Oh, yep, that's slightly bigger than the last one. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's chunky for a rockfish. Man, they are loving that chartreuse. At least, at least those those small quibac are <laughs> loving that chartreuse worm. Oh, that's bump, 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 bump. Oh, yeah, they're right in front of us. Yeah, they they usually are. There we go. Little one. Quick release. Wow. That was close. Uh. Well, I think I am winning on size. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You've definitely got the numbers. I'm in catching the bigger fish. That's very true. You definitely have big fish today. So far. Okay. Suicide fish. Yep. That sucks. So weird. I can see stars. <laughs> the way the smoke's been in the valley. That's true. First time I've seen stars in a week. Yeah. You know, living in the neighborhood I do with the dogs that are in the neighborhood, I'm kind of used to that sound. <laughs> that insisted yeah <laughs> I live out in the dune sea yep yep he mad Yeah, another decent sized one. Yeah, another decent size rockfish. Spiny. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this one's kind of spotted. Interesting. Yeah, never seen a black rockfish with that color pattern. Kind of gold on the gill plate too. Maybe it's a yellow one. Nope. What time did we start? Uh, I'd say about one thirty when we got out here. All right. That was gotta be close to four now. Now that time. I was just water skiing in. Tiny one. Oh, he was barely hooked. Bye. <laughs>
Well guys, I think that's it for jetty fishing, at least for you know fishing here at night. Haven't had a bite at all in about 45 minutes of continuous casting. And I think the thing is we lost the moon and lost the bite. I think once the moon went down, the fish just sort of took off, found somewhere else to go. But uh, still had a great time, you know, still caught plenty of good-sized rockfish. Didn't catch anything big enough to take home and eat, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, this is something that Christian and I do, especially in the winter, when uh, we haven't caught anything at all, continuously fishing at home. Kind of come out here to get the, get the skunk off us. But, yeah, still had, a, still had a great time. I hope you guys had fun watching. If you guys did, please throw this video a like. Also, please subscribe. Help this channel grow. You know, greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. And, as always, tips up, tight lines, and have fun fishing.